kettlebell complex. So if this kettlebell complex, you're going to be doing 10 reps of each exercise, and there's six exercises in the sequence. First exercise is a goblet squat, the second exercise is a clean, the third exercise is a push press or a strict press. From there, you're going to do a sumo deadlift um, and then a row, bent over row, and a push up. So the key to any kind of complex or anything you're doing that's a cardio circuit is you need to be proficient at each of the exercises. So if you don't know one of these exercises that well, potentially just trade it out, or at least spend a bit of time learning the technique. The clean is gonna be the main one that needs to be learned if you're not used to doing the exercise. So let's go through the sequence. First up, goblet squat. It's gonna be 10 reps of each exercise. So you select your load, bring the weight up onto the chest, and we're gonna go through 10 goblet squats. Don't go too quickly. The cardio will come from the accumulation of exercises stacked one on top of the other. So you're going to do 10 reps of um, the goblet squat. From there, you're going to move into your clean. So if you clean, it's a small hip swing. You drive, shrug the shoulders, and then bring the weight up onto the collarbone. Drive, catch on the shoulders. So 10 reps on one side, you do a switch, then do 10 reps on the other side. So from there, we're going to go into either the strict press or the push press. Make sure whatever side you finish the kettlebells um, clean on, that you switch to the other side so you're not too fatigued. So for a strict press, just standing, no bounding through the legs, and strict through your press. If you're starting to get tired or your load selection is quite high, then of course you can do a bound and go into push press. When you've done that, you're into your sumo deadlift. So you sit your feet nice and wide, toes turned out, drive the hips back, touch the kettlebell on the floor, stand through to the top, hip drive. So as much as it is knee flexion, we're really looking to try and get the hips driving back to make sure there's more hip action than there is knees. From there into a row, single arm row. So stagger the stance, tip over and into your row pattern. 10 on one side, switch it, and then 10 on the other side. And then from there, place the weight out of the way, and you're gonna do press-ups, either kneeling or full push-ups, depending on your strength level. So down onto the floor, 10 push-ups, or like I said, 10 kneeling push-ups. The idea is always it's cardiovascular, so if you can't do full push-ups, the hard push-ups in this format is fine. The idea is just to keep the heart rate up to get that cardiovascular system going. 